There's going to be a lot of development this year, and I think um, I think being with a team like McLaren will be very important because uh, you know us here we we, we are good at developing. Uh, I think you'll see that in previous years. Sometimes you get a little bit wrong, but most of the time they're very good. So uh, it's going to be a development race through the season, uh, along with trying to get a handle on the reliabilities of the, you know, reliability of the car. It's always pretty intense and. Uh, there's definitely been no let up for anyone this winter on getting themselves ready for, for the first race. Uh, I don't think there's any team that's found this, inter this, this winter easy. Um, we really don't know where we will stand at the first race compared to others, but we know that we are heads down doing the best job we possibly can. Everyone is talking about how the engine is going to sound compared to a V8. You know, it won't sound the same, you know, of course not. But, uh, from what I've heard, it still sounds pretty good. Uh, it's a real mix in sounds because obviously you have the turbo and, and what have you, so it's quite an unusual sound. Uh, but I, I like it. I think it sounds good, and you know, it's not important for me to like the sound really. You know, it's important for me to have a car that I can win with. Uh, but for the fans, I think it's still, it's still going to sound good. And um, the racing on circuit this year, I think, is going to be better than ever. I really do. I've only seen Kevin a couple of times since, obviously, he was uh, announced uh, to be a race driver here. Um, but um, I think he's got his head screwed on. You know, I think uh, he's, he's done very well in lower categories. Obviously, that doesn't mean everything in this sport. But um, from his test that he's, he's already done in an F1 car last year, the young driver test, he, he obviously drove very well. He was quick. Uh, and from what I've heard, his feedback was very good. And that is something that is key in motorsport at the moment, especially at the pinnacle in, in, in Formula One. You know, we can all drive quick. Uh, it's, the, uh, it's the feedback that we give and, and what's really gonna drive the development of this, this car, especially this year. So um, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to working with him, but we haven't really spent a lot of time together, uh, but uh, hopefully we'll soon. Obviously, being the more experienced driver, yes, you know, the, the younger, less experienced driver will learn from you. And, as he should, you know, because I've got so much experience in, in this sport. You know, he also brings something as well. You know, he's he's coming into a sport, he's fresh, he, he's not so experienced of, of the Formula One world. And I was that kid 13 years ago. So, you know, I'm sure I've lost something over the years that would be nice to get back. So uh, I'll be able to see that in Kevin, definitely. But um, yeah, 22 is a, a good number for me. Uh, it was in 2009, anyway, that's what I won the World Championship with. I came to McLaren. It's also the number that um, McLaren last won the World Championship with in 2008 with Lewis. So this team under Ron has, have, you know, has won multiple World Championships back to uh, the days of Ayrton and Alain uh, and before. So um, there's so much history of, of, of Ron and this team. And you know he's a true racer. He's a true fighter, and he, ha he really has built this team up over the years. So. I think uh, it's good for the team, it's good for Ron that he uh, has the chance to really drive this team on again uh, and I think that uh, everyone here is, is excited about the, the Challenger 2014 with, uh, with Ron in charge.